Hi, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. This is video number 6 of UiPath Assistance Series. In this video, we are going to talk about PIP that is called picture in picture. The full form of this PIP is picture in picture. Picture in picture allows you to run attended automations without interrupting your activity or task on the machine. While the robot walks in PIP, your machine is free. You can do whatever you want to do that time. You can listen music, you can write an email, you can call with someone on the teams and you can do your other task. Whatever you want to do, you can do on that. So in one side, your robot will process your that automation and then one side in the same machine you can do your work. So parallelly, both things will happen here. That is called picture in picture. You will also have seen that picture in picture features in your mobiles, right? We can open any app as a picture in picture in on the top of that any application, right? So it works in the same way. Let me open UiPath Assistant and show you how to run a process in picture in picture. Currently, whatever we execute, whatever process we execute, that run in your own machine in that machine as a new session, right? It doesn't open that in a two in a new picture in picture. Let me first show you that, then you will able to understand what is picture in picture, right? This is the UiPath Assistant, and let's say we have this process UI demo automations let me click on that and then once we'll come here there is an option available here that is picture in picture run in pip currently this is off if you will switch it on so it will allow you to run this process in picture in picture mode now you can save this one if you save these settings then this setting will be applied and then whenever you will directly run the process so let me click on save go back so now we have saved this pip option here now once you click on this directly this process will be executed in pip mode it will open a new desktop the complete machine will be like complete window will be set up here and then that process will be executed there if you will not on this so what will happen whenever you will run that this process it will just run in the same machine in the same session right here you can see uh, there is a help button if you click on that you can learn more about this picture and picture it will go it will just redirect you to the uh, you know ui path documentations there you can learn more about that one let me first click on this one and click save go back here now click on this run now you can see there is a pop-up asking here the automation you are trying to run was not tested for picture in picture running it in pip may result in unexpected behaviors are you sure want to run it it means this pop-up says this information pop-up says that this automation that we are going to run this ui demo automation that has been not tested to run in picture in picture right so it says that if you are trying to run that might be it will throw some error you will have some other issues there right so do you want do, do you want to still run that one if yes you need to click yes if no so click no it will not run that now let me first click on run this yes so that we can run that and i can show you some a uh, demo like how it's going to open and after that i will show you how to fix this issue because if you don't want to get this message then also you can do that let me click on yes then now you'll see it has just started installing the package started the job currently it's asking for the credential so let me enter my credential here and this is asking this is my microsoft account this i'm going to use to log into this machine i will click ok and then you, then you can see here this is the same machine it's going to log in here and you can see left side everything all the icons and then uh, the wallpaper and everything the desktop is same as this one right 
and here whatever you want to do you can do and you can see I open this one I'm, and I'm doing something else I'm just closing this one and but also side by side you can see this automation is running right if I want to any browser I can open the browser it will not disturb your automation now here you can see there are two options here the main two options basically we have two and three five five options here if you click on tech control currently this is disable uh, sorry this is off if you we'll switch it on so it means you can take this control you can right click on this one you can do whatever you are doing here right so you're I'm clicking on refresh here also I'm able to click on refresh on this machine also I can open any other things here also right same as this I can do if we'll switch it off you will not able to do anything it means whenever you are doing some other task on this machine and you are doing some right click or somewhere so it will not disturb this automation so you can switch it off so that whenever you are clicking somewhere you are trying to delete something you are trying to work on something so it will not disturb this window second thing we have keep in top this is also off if we'll on this so what will happen so let's say if i'm going to open any anything any window any browser so this will be always on top let me click on this and you can see this is always on top so it will keep this window on the top let me open this one you can see if you switch it off so you can see if I am opening anything so this window is going back right you can see but if you we'll click on top so this will be always on top there is some advantage and there is some disadvantage of this one also you can use as per your requirement we have this minimize so while running this process you can also minimize that one and you can do whatever you want to do here on this machine we have this maximize so if you we'll click on that it will show you in this complete full screen now we have this close so if you we'll click on this close it will ask you do you want to close the picture in picture window yes click yes right now it will close this PIP mode that desktop has been closed now let me show you one more more time here here you can see the status is success installed job started and completed you how we can fix that specific pop-up message that we are getting here this this pop-up so first you will go to that automation in the your UI path studio so in, this is the UI demo auto automations this automation I am using here now you can click on this project settings for this automations so for every automations we can change that one now you can see here in the general you can come down here and you can see here we have option PIP options so there are three options here tested for PIP users starting in PIP tested for PIP uses starting in PIP it means you are saying that I have already tested this for PIP users and starting in PIP means it will by default start in PIP now here tested for PIP usage not starting in PIP by default so if you select this you are approving that you are saying that this automation is tested for PIP usage but this will not start in PIP by default you have to manually run that you have to select that option from UI path assistant to run that in PIP third is not tested for PIP uses so if this is selected here then whenever you will run that you will get this pop-up you will get this pop-up right now if you will select here tested for PIP uses but not starting PIP by default so it will not run in the by default in PIP but it will not give you that message now here we have a PIP type PIP type it says that this project will run in the new session or in the new desktop if you select new desktop it will open a complete new desktop that I have shown you in the demo so it will open the new desktop and then run there 
so i have already published this one let me go to this orchestrator and currently i'm using 1.0.4 which is using not tested now let me upgrade this to the latest version that is 1.0.5 in the 1.0.5 version i have already selected this that pip is approved it means ready to run for pip now let me go to this let me go back if i'll run this one so you can see we didn't receive that that pop up because i have already approved that one right now let me enter that password and click ok so you see this is already approved in my this studio in the project settings and now we are not getting that pop-up and we are able to run that here now let me click on stop that and click yes now this has been stopped and you can see once you will stop from here this will also close your pip window click on dismiss let me run this again and you can see asking for the password now i'm going to click on this and click on this power button and click on this shutdown so this shutdown means this will shut down your this window also this machine right if you click on disconnect then this this window will be disconnected right so if you click on shut down so your this current machine also will be shut down so whenever you are clicking here so just you know take care of that one so let me click on disconnect so this will just disconnect this machine okay and click stop go back so this is the use of pip that is picture in picture in uipath assistant i hope this is useful for you if so please like this video and please subscribe the channel thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you